Welcome to an integrated data enterprise, a blog and short video series speaking to the reasons to build an integrated enterprise and how to get there. This fourth and final post discusses the motivation for building a data fabric and how to get started. As I've said before, if you haven't checked out the O'Reilly ebook, Rise of the Knowledge Graph, I highly recommend you do that. The ebook simply is the most comprehensive resource to help your organization get closer to achieving the vision of agile, secure, and complete data integration. Okay, let's get into it. We've already discussed how a data fabric is more than just a design concept for enterprise data architecture. And instituting a data fabric actually constitutes a familiar change in attitude about how data is perceived and treated. Why is it familiar? Because this change aligns with prevailing attitudes for what is required for digital transformation as a whole. The employment of a data fabric is the manifestation of that change in enterprise data management. So, given what we know now about the data fabric and knowledge graphs, how should we proceed? What will inspire the enterprise to make the required cultural shift and what strategy can make the path smoother? That is, what is the motivation for a data fabric? Well, to begin, executives want to have an integrated, comprehensive experience when consulting business data. The demand for timely and effective decision-making drives this desire but something is lacking from the current data experience. In compounding this situation, the speed of business in a modern enterprise is accelerating. And the faster a company can move and adapt, the more successful it can be. As the enterprise enters this new era, how can it manage all the information it needs to carry out business efficiently and effectively? To be blunt, how can the enterprise know what it is doing when, I, when its operations change so quickly? Conventional techniques for managing enterprise data are just not keeping up. Data has become the key driver of the business and data is more durable than applications. If you think about it, application centricity is tantamount to managing by crisis. It's totally reactive. Every new application is in response to some emergent need. And each new application, product, service, business area, or market adds new demands on data. Profit centers of the business don't want to be slowed down by application-centric development. To succeed, business needs to keep up with the pace of change. The business demands a digital transformation that provides flexibility, extensibility, and adaptability in its data architecture, along with business alignment. To be sure, a data fabric is no longer a luxury, but a necessity. So when do we institute a data fabric? Since executives want on-demand access to their data, and the board is asking the CEO questions about digital transformation, we know that the business stakeholders are ready to make some big changes. But is the enterprise ready to begin weaving its data fabric? If you've come this far, you likely agree the timing is now, but is the data fabric ready for prime time? To be sure, there is no need to delay due to perceived availability of the necessary technologies. The best technology for assembling a data fabric is a knowledge graph and knowledge graphs are already successfully used by companies in many industries. But the transition to a data fabric is not simply a matter of creating a new application, even a knowledge-based one. It requires a cultural change in how enterprise relates to its data. This situation suggests an iterative approach to building a data fabric. So as a first step, read Rise of the Knowledge Graph. You'll be introduced to the technology and concepts that support a knowledge graph approach. 
You can download an array of free software for managing knowledge graphs or inventory some of the resources in your field. The culture will man manifest through organizational resistance and most likely will be your biggest obstacle. It's a cultural challenge, not a technology challenge. Your application developers may see the problem as just another application that they have to build and not a fundamental change. Data scientists will focus on immediate challenges, AKA crises, not the big picture. It's something, it can be something of a catch 22. It is impractical to institute such a big change at once, especially before reaping any of the benefits of having one. So how can you proceed? In a phrase, think big, start small, and scale fast. First, read the ebook Rise of the Knowledge Graph so you can understand the big picture and the concepts. Know that these concepts are not far-fetched ideas bubbling up in an academic lab, although the technologies are well grounded in mathematical logic. The ebook includes several examples. Finding parallels in your own organization is more persuasive. Second, start small. Nothing succeeds like success. Deliver something that provides real business value and illustrates the big ideas. Start stitching your fabric based on an initial application and grow the fabric as you add more data sets servicing more applications. Third, use the principles in Rise of the Knowledge Graph eBook as a guide to building your first data fabric application. When you organize the application's data, don't organize it just for that application, organize it for the enterprise, organize it more ontologically, represent it as a graph and give the entities in the graph global names using URIs. Find data sets that already exist in your enterprise and reuse them. Build your application around the data, not vice versa. Think of each data set you use as a potential product that someone else might reuse. Represent your metadata explicitly using the same knowledge graph principles. This is the beauty of the knowledge graph. While it is the basis of a large scalable enterprise architecture like the data fabric, it can also be used for a single initial application then add applications. Starting small and succeeding builds momentum. Just as a journey begins with a single step and a fabric starts with a single stitch, a data fabric begins with a solution to a single business problem. When you set out to build your fledgling data fabric, have a plan to scale fast. Know the standards that we recommend are mature the implementations are sound and scalable. Best practices and methodologies are established. Okay, you've got what you need to get started and your business is waiting. The next application you build will be the first stitch in your new data fabric. This completes an integrated data enterprise blog series. If you haven't seen earlier posts, please consider doing so. In those posts, we discuss the differences between data fabric, data mesh, data-centric revolution, and fair data. Why a data fabric wins out over traditional architecture and how knowledge graph technology supplies, satisfies the requirements of a data fabric. If you would like to set up a consultation with us or see a demo, please don't hesitate to reach out. We can be found at cambridgesemantics.com. Thank you.